it's almost like a logistical nightmare because you have to gather all those people and you're driving all out of state when, you know, just you're an individual. You could just go, you know, if you yeah. just want to go for an hour, you go there, come back, or if you want to take the whole family. It just Green like, Mountain years ago was a, was a right in the middle of everybody to play softball. Yeah, it wasn't it. It's not in Galton County, but there's no reason why we can't have our own little Green Mountain here. Well, how many softball fields we got? We have three softball fields, you know. Well, where are they at? We got one uh, behind the uh, high school. It's at the park. Oh, park that's park. It. It's County Park, and then the two they put beside the soccer field. Right by Meadow Creek. Yeah. But you know, then you got this, the sewage smell. I just feel like it would be a positive for everybody, even if it wasn't a YMCA per se. If we just had a community center, it, it would be a positive family experience for everyone. It would. I really think that it would we would bring in money to the county simply because we have so many people in our county that are, you know, looking for something to do, that are looking for interests like that. Well, and what types of things, if you had a community center, would you like to see there? I would definitely like to see them have a pool there to do yeah, the swimming lessons for the kids. You ain't going to swim in a, outside in your pool in the summertime. You go, you know, you have something to do in the wintertime as well, you know. You can't play basketball outside in the wintertime. You can't swim in the wintertime. I'm not going to go outside and do anything in the wintertime. So it's got to be an indoor type of deal. Well, you know, you can't do nothing in this town indoors. Nothing. Everything's set up that's brought in, which is nice, positive. Why? It's for summer events, spring well, events. Well, I mean, they did put in. Nothing for the winter. They did put in the walking track in the high school gym, but you have to go and get a visitor pass. Yeah, well, yeah, that's not a seven day week thing. You know, they're right, not there on the weekends. Uh, you can't go walk around if. They got something going on there. I mean, how many people actually use it? You know, I don't know how many. I mean, I've gone there a few times, but the loopholes that you have to go through, I mean, the back doors are locked, so you have to park, but you have to walk all the way around. You know, get That's your, a good point, though. The skate park yes. and the, the playground and the, the walking around the trail, that's all outdoor stuff. So you do need something on the inside. And like you were saying, in the wintertime, that's when people actually get lazy. Yes, that's, when that's, they where get people, that's where people pick up most of the weight and it's where people get out of shape. Is, you know, in the wintertime. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not in shape, you know. And you said you, you do but something once I a week. I only play basketball once a, one day a week. Well, I'm not going to stay in shape that way. Right. So you need something that's a community center that's open seven days a week. Uh, that's got lots of activities for everybody. So yeah, not just time, swimming the pool, time, whatever, whatever time, things. If time don't work out perfectly with my child and, and wife going to work and stuff like that, at least I can go to... The YMCA that has a daycare to where they can watch my child while I'm working out or doing whatever, you know. Right. What other things would you like to see at the community center? You said a pool and what else? Weightlifting, basketball gym. Weightlifting, basketball. I would like for there to be, you know, if, if they had some kind of after school program where they could help our kids with their homework and stuff until the parents got off work and could pick up their kids. That way you don't have the kids that are getting into mischief. And, um, you know, they they had just a family atmosphere there, like they do at the YMCA and BB. You know, they have water aerobics there. They have kickboxing. They have basketball leagues that play there. They can do birthday parties there for the kids that do have winter birthdays. Yeah, you know, they can set it up gives something. Them something to do in the county. They can set up something with the with the school to have an after school program to where parents probably don't even have to pay nothing. You know, do something. Or, or, it's inexpensive, or inexpensive, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's got to be something. It'd be I mean, a my gosh. experience for everybody. And there's been lots of times that we've gone to the YMCA and seen, you know, kids that, that do play in sports and participate in sports come over there to work out after school. And then you have the younger kids that are in the after school program that come over there to, to be there until their parents can pick them up. And it's just, uh, you know, you have the elderly in the pool doing the pool aerobics and you have younger people upstairs working out and I just think that it would be a positive thing for Gallatin County to, to invest in. Seems like he's got something for everybody. It's win-win. It does. There's a lot of things like there's let, no Let us know how you, how you get it. But I guess I'll, you know, we'll do it. Nice. <laughs> I really think that this would be a positive thing. And it's not just that. I mean, even if they couldn't put in a YMCA or some kind of community center like that, if they could just I mean, although it wouldn't benefit you, if they could just put in a playground area that our kids could play at under the age of, you know, five or six, that's open to the public, you know, where our kids could play, that would be awesome instead of us having to drive to Carrollton to do it. You know, you're, 
you drive to Carrollton, you're giving them our service. We buy food while we're there. We do our thing while we're there. You know, whereas if you keep stuff in the community, then everybody is getting, you know, the benefit. You're eating while you're there. You're, you know, it just brings money to our county, and I really feel like it would pay for itself. Now, how, how hard is it to get something like this money-wise? Uh, Obama has given a ton of stimulus funds out, and there's still 60% of the stimulus funds have not been used. So write the grant up, put the ducks in the road, get whatever developers or whatever businesses would be interested in, in getting something like that, write it all up, submit it, uh, almost 90% guarantee you get it approved. I really feel like it's a community-wide community, community -wide interest. I don't feel like it's just us who want something like this. I feel like a lot of people feel like we need something for our kids, for our, you know, young adults for elderly it's a it's a community-wide interest hey, we don't we, we don't even live in warsaw we live in link on that but I, i've lived in warsaw pretty much my whole life but right you need to it's a whole lot closer than florence at least it's still in my county yeah and it's cool too because uh why i'm seeing like you're saying it's got something for everybody you got the kids the older people young adults yeah. so you're covering everyone but they also have programs there like they have different costs like if you're a single family it's one cost and if you're, you know, it depends on how many people you're considering your family right. based on, like, we could probably get a membership with, like, me and him and mom. And, but, like, NAS has stuff where if you go to the VV YMCA and you're a NAS employee, you pay it and they'll pay you back what you pay. Yeah, how many, how many NAS employees we got that works in this county? Quite a bit. Right, right. NAS will pay. A lot of people they go, steal they go work out just before they go to work. Yeah, NAS will pay for their employees Instead to go there. Instead of backtracking over across the river. Right. And giving BB more money. And BB, actually, Switzerland County, we can learn a lot of things from Switzerland County because they have a lot of stuff in place for for their youth. and a lot of it. They have a lot of, um, a lot of stuff over there for their youth. You're going to be like, this interview's done. I'm, I'm done with this interview. Over. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say, look, Ma, I'm famous. <laughs> I'm on TV. I'm on TV. 